Hi, uh, it's me again, testing out the uh, 808 uh, against the A16. What we're going to do now is that um, I actually have it uh, set up at a basketball court. So at least we can see what kind of uh, illumination that uh, both the light can do uh, relative to the uh, basketball court. You can see the far end, it's actually, uh, there's actually a hall. Uh, obviously you can't actually see the other end of the basketball court. But um, that will be clearly seen in a while. So what, what I have is a setup of both the light on a cane, uh, just to replicate the what I call that, the uh, the so-called actual uh, level um, on a bicycle handle. So this is a typical uh, barrel. You can see. So it's uh, roughly about um, to the height of my waist. Right. Roughly to the height of my waist. So this pretty much uh, will give a good idea about the throw of the light. All right, first up is the uh, 816. Um, the first mode will be on is actually the flood. You can see that both the flood actually goes uh, up to what they will call the uh, the three point or the or the middle line, right? So the next one is a spot, and um, the spot actually goes all the way now you can see the illumination um, of the other basketball ring actually right so the next mode I'm gonna switch on is actually both the flood of the 816 and also the spot and you can see immediately um, the uh, front portion of the court is actually like uh, like brighten up so one more time I'm gonna switch off everything right now you now now you know that uh, this square little thing here it's actually a basketball uh, thingy right so I'm gonna switch on uh, the flood right you can see it lights up pretty well the spot and all three together so this is the 816 right so how does the um, 808 actually do very carefully without moving away uh, the target so at least you know that uh, we're actually having a fair comparison uh, the 808 actually only have one mode, uh, sorry, three mode, which is a uh, high beam, 50% and stroke. So the first one I press is going to be the high beam. You can actually see that the uh, 808 actually offers um, better penetration, right? And uh, you can actually see the basketball court actually much brighter. And it actually illuminate the tree behind the basketball court, right? This is at 100%. This is at 50%. Illumination is at fifty percent, which is uh, pretty good for about half a cut, about half a cut distance, and uh, obviously they have a stroke, which will blind uh, anyone. Uh, ideally, you can actually put it at the back of a bicycle or your helmet, and you go cycling, where it actually will pretty much alert the car behind you, right? So I'm gonna switch off both. You can see in darkness how both of them look like. So what I'm gonna do. Is that I'm gonna switch on the uh, the high beam, all right? For the eight one six, you can actually see. Uh, all right, just let's aim for the basketball uh, board, right? And I'm gonna switch on the eight oh eight. Now, you can instantly compare. You see, the beam of the eight oh eight actually went uh, beyond. And uh, further than the 816, right? Just to give you a good indication, this is a 808, and uh, this is a 816. So you can see that the 808 actually throws further, and uh, the 816 actually offer a much uh, uh, what I call it a more broad beam, actually, right? So what? Let's see, All right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch on uh, the 816 uh, to auxiliary as well. So you can instantly see that I actually have all the lights on. Right? Yep, they are that bright. Okay. And uh, you get the almost uh, the ideal right light actually if you can afford both. So you have almost a day time, a, a, a daylight actually. So how, how bright it is? Now just let me place the iPhone here and watch me go as far as you can. I'll be back.
can see I actually went all the way to the other end uh, which is actually a tennis court so that area is uh, about another 5 more meters from the edge of the basketball court and uh, this is how both the light actually performs so if you ask me once again I'm gonna switch off uh, uh, the 816 right and I'm gonna run until the end again and then uh, let's see after the video is being played back who actually has a much better um, illumination right Just finding an excuse to actually do some workout. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch off the uh, 808. I think we are done with the 808. 816 flood. 816 spot. I'm gonna run until the end again. And of course the last one is going to be the both the spot and uh, the flood on the 816 and yeah guess what I'm just going to run again Oh, alright, so now you have a better idea what are the capability of the um, so-called uh, both the light, the AOA and 1.6 right, so you be the judge if you can afford both, brilliant if you can't um, I am uh, pretty biased towards the 816 actually because of the multi-mode and uh, slightly longer battery life if you run on a two side light just to shine or to just to see what is about 5 to 10 meters around you so what is 5 to 10 meters that's actually to the center court right so I'm gonna switch off um, the light just gonna on the flood and I'm gonna run to the center court of the basketball and you tell me if you can see me Right, so now you have a better idea um, and if you actually angle down a little bit you might actually get uh, much better uh, illumination. Just remember that the both the lights are dynamic you can actually adjust it uh, whichever way you like it so um, your illumination would not be uh, so-called um, hin hinder right and just to show to you the distance, this is the line, right? Again, the basketball court. This is gonna walk. Tell you what, as a bonus, I'm gonna switch on all the lights. I'm gonna run until the end. And you can see how bright it's gonna be. I'm even gonna show you where I actually stop. Edge of your tennis court, and that's where the lights are. Now, tell me 
which car light, which HID light is actually as bright as this. I count the steps, walk back. Right, so we have a rough idea. I'm gonna walk about a meter each strike. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 28 is a center court. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So there's 45 steps or close to easily about 45 meters. Um, Obviously, you can't actually really, uh, what do you call that? Uh, if you see it on real life, you can actually see very clearly the, uh, what do you call that? Um, behind this board is actually the uh, tennis fencing. All right? And I can actually see the word head from here as well. So it actually illuminated pretty, pretty well. Okay, so that's the 12 minutes of uh, review. Um, Hope you enjoy it and uh, at least uh, let's hope that the video is actually much clearer than the first attempt that I made uh, the day before. Thank you.